Hi, it's Bill at Machinery Consultants. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview our offering of a very limited use, superb condition. It's an American made Sydney Model 16. This particular machine swings 18 over the bed that has 102 inches of center distance. Inch threading, inch feeds, real sharp, clean machine. Currently set up for 16 spindle speeds, ranging from 16, or excuse me, 14 to 650 RPM. It's currently running at 14. All right, before we get going on the uh, spindle speed changes, I'd like to take a moment and point out these ways. It's absolutely amazing condition, texture. All the way along. Okay, Frank, one minute in, that was perfect. Let's go ahead and run some spindle speeds and some feeds and uh, do a nice inspection of this in-house uh, Sydney 18 by 102. Quick history lesson on this particular model. It's a model 16. It has the herringbone style gears in the headstock. That's 38 RPM. Full length taper attachment. Has the coolant system built in. It's a Bomba style pump with the new hose, spigot, nozzle. Full length taper with the bed clamp. Going over the rear of the ways. Clear. Real nice 10 inch three jaw. So let's talk about this three jaw. It has two piece top reversible jaws and has a real nice stamp in it. And the stamp reflects a, uh, a symbol. And next to it it says 9 S as in Sam. 3.6. 64. 64 RPM. It's inch and 5 eighths on the spindle board. Coming around the back. Lever operated on the engagement for the spindle. Two different locations. Twenty-four RPM. Oh, just put your foot on this tripod. Just throw your foot on there. A seven point five horsepower main drive motor. It's currently wired at four forty volts. Shiny hard bed this is a factory finish, the original bed on this machine. So it's a hard bed machine. Absolutely mint, unused condition. Okay, this is your uh, top speed, 560 RPM. Well, that sounds great, doesn't it? That's great. Yeah, you made that look easy. All right, let's engage some feeds. Speaking of the feeds, we have a great range. Two and a half to 92 TPI on the threads. And the feed range, there's 16 changes for 0 
5.172 Emperor Ippo. We've got the carriage in and out. Thanks for showing us that reversing feature. Great range of feeds, threads. Smooth. So it's pretty well tooled. Micrometer bed stop, wedge stop, quick change tool post, with a smattering of some nice holders. Speaking of which, we have the original owner's manual. We'll hit the tail stock in about 15 seconds. The original owner's manual, and here's a couple more tool holders. Real nice little life center. Handle chuck wrench, but here's the original books. Sydney did a real nice job. The machine is equipped with a number four Morse taper in the tail stock, 6.3 in. It's a graduated quill on the tail stock. Looking good, Frank. Nice. Good looking quill. Showing off the graduations. Six and change. Frank, you wanted me to point out the uh, plates on here. Absolutely sumptuous. We call these limited use machines just for that reason. Uh, purchase new, use sparingly put into a short term to long term standby storage facility. We've completely gone through the machine. It runs absolutely amazing. We kept the original tools with it as far as the chuck, the taper attachment, bomba style coolant pump. We freshened up a few things on the electrics, new belts. It's all American, American uh, common, Allen Bradley, Square D, Cutler Hammer, off the shelf. And again, it's wired at four, 440 volts currently. Should we do an outro? Thank you. So if there's anything we can help with, this happens to be our stock number 2023-670. 2023-670 reflects this model 16, 18.402. Heavy powder, very big machine uh, here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Machine serial number is 8565. So we'll send over the folks, nice photos, uh, everything with the asking price along with them. Let us know. We're at MCI at machineryconsultants.com. Again, our email happens to be MCI at machineryconsultants.com.